Hey guys, it's Jordan here from Community Courtyard. Today I'm going to be reading Big Panda, A Tiny Dragon for story time. Okay, the first chapter is spring, second one summer, then autumn, then winter, back to spring. That's it, we'll start with spring. Be brave. You never know what a first meeting might lead to. And we have the bandit meeting the little dragon. A new day and a new beginning, said the tiny dragon. What shall we do with it? Which is more important, asked the big panda. The journey or the destination? The company, said the tiny dragon. I'm too busy to see the flowers right now, said the tiny dragon. All the more reason to look up at them, said the big panda. And they might not be here tomorrow. Isn't nature incredible, said the tiny dragon. It is, agreed big panda. We are just... Yeah, we are just a much a part of nature as the trees and the spiders and they're just as amazing. <laughs> Big panda, said Tiny Dragon. I like the way you listen to me and talk to me and then travel with me. But most of all, I like the way you make me feel. Try to make time for the small things, said the big panda. They are often the most important. The most important thing, said the, said the big panda, is to pay attention. Just because you don't know where you are going, it doesn't mean you are lost said the tiny dragon profoundly. Very true, replied Big Panda, but in this case, we are definitely lost. <laughs> yeah, lost up a mountain, that looks a bit. That tree has been here for some rough times, said the tiny dragon. Yes, said Big Panda, but it's still here, and it has gained strength and beauty. Hurry, sweet tiny dragon, there's much to do. The river doesn't hurry, said Big Panda. It, despite many obstacles, always gets where it's going. Nothing is happening, said tiny dragon. Maybe, said Big Panda, it's happening underneath first. Hmm. Not planting, I'm guessing. Sometimes I think I'm not good enough, said Tiny Dragon. A, a cherry tree doesn't compare itself to other trees, said Big Panda. It just blossoms. Uses for a leaf, number one, they built. That uses a tree to boat. Sometimes you just have to be silly. Tiny dragon kissing thing, and they're just playing about. Each decision you make on your journey takes you closer or further from where you want to go. Mistakes mean you're trying, said Big Panda. Don't give up. I want to change the world, said Tiny Dragon. Start with the next person who needs your help, replied Big Panda. Hmm. 
The map doesn't show where I'm supposed to go, said Tiger Dragon. The journey isn't shown on the map. Not on any map, said Big Banda. You just discover your own path. I miss him already, said Tiny Dragon. What if he gets hurt? You helped him when he needed it the most, said Big Panda. And what if he goes on to live a long and happy life? The path ahead looks difficult, said Big Panda. No matter how hard it gets, said Tiny Dragon, we'll face it together. <clears throat> I wish this moment could last forever, said Tiny Dragon. This moment is all there is, smile Big Panda. No, that was spring. No. Summer. Hmm. Time doing nothing is never wasted. They're just chilling. I wish I had met you earlier, said Tiny Dragon, so we could have gone on even more adventures together. What is my purpose? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda paused, then said, To sit on the stone and be with your friend. My head feels like a storm sometimes, said Tiny Dragon. If you really listen, said Big Panda, you can hear the raindrops splashing on the stone. It is possible to find a little peace, even in a storm. An elder dragon is a tiny dragon who never gave up. Okay, the little dragon. And we have a big dragon. We have a long way to go, said Big Panda. Tiny Dragon grinned. Grandpa Dragon used to say that. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a cup of tea. You're a good listener, said Tiny Dragon. Listening has never landed me in trouble, replied Big Panda. And then... Can't find the right place for this last branch, huffed Tiny Dragon. Big Panda chewed his bamboo thoughtfully. It's an imperfections that make it perfect. Together. Then chew them out of watering hole. Best thing to have with tea, said Big Panda. He's a good friend. And they're having tea together. I'm worried, said Tiny Dragon. I don't know what to do next. For just a moment, said Big Panda. Stop, breathe, listen to the wind in the bamboo. What are you doing? asked Tiny Dragon. I have no idea, said Big Panda. But it's great fun. Sure. It's just on a rock. Having fun. <laughs> if you seek happiness for others, you may find it for yourself. Yes, there we go. Just do it. Relax it. You know, said Tiger Dragon, these might be the good old days. That we'll look back on with great longing. In that case, said Big Panda, let's never stop making them. Love needs no explanation. Together we can do anything. Some people are like candles. They burn themselves out to create light for others.
Uses for leaves, number 17, your parasol. Hmm. Hurry up, Big Panda. We're going to be late. Big Panda sat down. I like to think I'm creating anticipation. The garden is beautiful, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda nodded. And we only found it because we went the wrong way so many times. There you go. You don't do much, said Tiny Dragon. I'm full of potential, yawned Big Panda. Nope. Right. Mm. Now we're on to bottom. Autumn is here, said Big Panda, and soon winter will be upon us. Ooh, said Tiny Dragon. While cosy evenings together with tea. Uses for leaves, number 2062. An umbrella. Not like a parasol, but it's an umbrella. We're lost again, said Big Panda. When I'm lost, said Tiny Dragon, I find it helps to go back to the beginning and try to remember where I started. What if I meet people who don't like me? All the things that I do, said Tiny Dragon. You must walk your own path, said Big Panda. Better to lose them than lose yourself. Very deep. Very deep. Stage with a pretty flower. And tiny dragon with a flower. My flower, said tiny dragon. All things come to pass, little one. That's the way, that's what makes them so precious. It's hard being kind to everyone, said Tiny Dragon. True, said Big Panda. And the hardest of all to be kind to yourself. But we must try. Yeah. Let's go, I'll be dragged. Let go, I'll be dragged. <laughs> When, when drinking tea, drink tea. Hmm. Stop explanatory. Drinking tea. Pretty forest. What are you thinking about? asked Tiny Dragon. Nothing, said Big Panda. It's wonderful. It's just, just relaxing. Clear mind. I can't find my way out of this hole, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smile. Then I will come and sit with you. The leaves are dying, said Tiny Dragon. Don't be sad, said Big Panda. Autumn is nature's way of showing us how beautiful let it go can be. Get this out with him. Look what I found. Ooh, said Big Panda. An opportunity to try something new. And, oh, we found bamboo. And then drag and set the bamboo alight. They're quiet today, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. I don't think I can improve on the sound of the rain. I'm not sure this works. <laughs> How is that tree still standing? said Tiny Dragon. During better times, said Big Panda, it grew deep roots. Now it can weather any storm.
It's a shame we didn't plant this tree a long time ago, said Tanner Drennan. Imagine how big it would be. We're doing it now, said Big Panda. That's the important thing. Can you hear the wind in the trees, Tiny Dragon? That's nature's way of telling us to take a moment to stop, breathe, and just be. Are you a bit mean to yourself, Big Panda? Big Panda watched the ripples spread across the lake. I see how gentle you are, Tiny Dragon. I try to treat myself with the same kindness. There have been so many difficulties along this path, said Tiny Dragon. There have, agreed Big Panda, but we have learned something from each other. And imagine how good the view will be when we reach the top. Whether people praise you or criticise you, Tiny Dragon, Try to accept it gracefully. It takes all kinds of conditions to create a strong tree. Listening to someone is one of the greatest things you can do for them. Just like this. When you light a lantern for someone else, you cannot help but light up your own path. Do you want? Okay. What do you want? <laughs> little dragon wants to be bigger, and Big Panda just wants to sit with Little Dragon. If you don't try, said Big Panda, you'll never know what. It, yeah, you never know if you can fly. <laughs> Get him to fly. I'm tired, sighed Tiny Dragon. Then it's time to stop, said Big Panda. Watch the stars and have a cup of hot tea. Stop. Sit. What are you celebrating? asked Tiny Dragon. Getting rained on, said Big Panda with you. That's a very small candle, said Tiny Dragon. However, small the light, smiled Big Panda, is better than the darkness. Please celebrate. Oh, yeah. Ooh, little candle. I want to open the scary pumpkin stall, said Tiny Dragon, but I'm afraid I will fail. Big Panda, yeah, Big Panda poured his, his friend some more tea. You might fail, little one, but if you let your, if you let fear stop you from ever trying, failure is assumed. Assured, yeah. Sometimes all you can do is make someone a cup of tea. Might be enough. Yeah. <clears throat> there are days when just getting up is a victory. What is the universe asking? Tiny Dragon. Big Panda looked up at the night sky. We are little one. We are little one. We are depthless oceans and summer lightning. There is nothing more magnificent. Just getting up. And then pondering. Oh. Winter. Yeah. Winter. <laughs> You've been carrying me for so many days now, said Tiny Dragon. It could be worse, said Big Panda. We could be Big Dragon and Tiny Panda. <laughs> each season is completely different, said Big Panda. Yet each of us, each has its own wonder. Just like us, grinning Tiny Dragon. Sometimes it's good to head out with no idea where you're going. How do you keep going? asked Tiny Dragon. Sometimes, said Big Panda. 
even the smallest step is better than no step. It's the shortest day, said Tiny Dragon. Winter is truly upon us. But also the longest night, said Big Bandit. And that comes with its own wonders. I give up, said Tiny Dragon. That's okay, said Big Panda. We'll try again tomorrow. It's cold and dark tonight, said Tiny Dragon. Don't worry, little one, said Big Panda. The sun will rise again. If you're struggling, little one, you can tell me. I want to help. Do bad thoughts make me a bad person? asked Tiny Dragon. No, said Big Panda. The waves are not the ocean. The thoughts are not the mind. I am so tired, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda paused. Winter is the time when nature withdraws, rests and gathers its energy for a new beginning. We are allowed to do the same, my little friend. I've forgotten to make a New Year's revolution. Resolution, yeah. Sighed Tiny Dragon. Don't worry, little one, said Big Panda. If there's something you want to change, you can start right now. What would your three wishes be? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda pondered a moment, us together traveling in the rain. It's a kind of like the rain. I'm going to rest in the cave. <laughs> there is beauty everywhere, said Big Panda, but sometimes it's difficult to see. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, use for a leaf, number 111. The sledge. Is it the sledge? Mm -hmm. oh. More traveling. Huh. I can't explain how I feel, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. That's okay. Words are not adequate for all things. You give me strength when all mine has gone. Oh, and back to spring. Butterflies struggle more than at most just before they emerge. Do you believe in reincarnation? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda yawned. I believe that every minute of every day we can let go and start again. Just a butterfly. Um, even a damaged tree can produce the most beautiful blossoms. Are we nearly there yet? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. I hope not. It's just enjoying the journey. And the company. Oh. That is the end. Thank you for bearing with me through that, guys. <laughs> Hope you have a nice day. Right. That was Big Panda and Tiny Dragon by James Norbury.